Hello beautiful people, if you've ever made black soap and you realize that after a few days your black soap begins to stink and smell awful, you know how frustrating and how wasteful that can be. And that's why on today's episode of the perfect black soap I will be telling you the reasons your black soap stink or smell awful after a few days. The perfect black soap is a series on my channel where I share tips and tricks on making your African black soap, how you can make a better and more effective black soap. The first possible reason your black soap stinks or smells after a while is that you have added in water. And now I'm not referring to liquid black soap where you melt um, the black soap and turn it into a liquid. That's different. I'm talking about when you are making your paste like black soap. If you add water to your paste like black soap, then it's possible that your black soap will begin to stink or smell. Normally, when making cosmetic products, if you add water into a product, then that product is likely to go bad, grow molds, grow bacteria, and also smell. So if you add water into your black soap, then it can smell after a while, especially if you do not add a preservative. If you're adding water into your black soap, then you must add in a preservative because without a preservative, your black soap will go bad. It will begin to stink after a while. Instead of using water in your paste black soap, I would suggest you use other options like honey, like um, oils or other extracts to melt the black soap. Those are better options than using water. The second reason your black soap may stink is adding in sulfur. Sulfur is a very great cosmetic ingredient, especially for people with oily and acne prone skin. However, sulfur has a very terrible smell if you add sulfur in your black soap it smells like rotten egg sulfur itself smells like rotten egg so if you add it into your black soap then after a few days it will begin to smell really bad so if you want to add sulfur into your black soap make sure that you use up the black soap very fast or better still do not add sulfur into your black soap at all and this applies whether or not you add a preservative into the black soap so if you add sulfur into the black soap and you still add a preservative the sulfur will still smell but if you can cope with the smell then it's fine you can add it into your black soap despite the horrible smell that sulfur has it's actually a very great skincare ingredient especially for people with oily and acne prone skin if you have oily and acne prone skin sulfur is a good idea for this skin but you would have to cope with the smell Another reason your black soap may stink and smell after a while is adding in fresh fruits. And I talked about this in the very first episode of this series. Now imagine you put fresh fruits on a table. After a few days, these fruits will begin to rot. They'll begin to smell. They'll begin to have bacteria in them. That's the same thing that happens when you put fresh fruits into your black soap. After a while, those fresh fruits will decay inside the black soap and they will form molds, they will form bacteria and also they will stink and smell. So avoid fresh fruits in your black soap. Add them in their powdered form, oil form or extract form. Don't add fresh fruit. Don't blend fresh fruits and add into your black soap. It's really, really, really wrong and it will make your black soap stink. And by fresh fruits, I mean fresh purples, fresh pineapples, fresh watermelons, fresh carrots. Don't blend them in puree form and add them into your black soap. Another reason your soap may smell and stink after a few days is touching your soap with wet hands. Now, I know I said earlier that if you're not adding water into your black soap, then you don't absolutely need a preservative. It's not compulsory to add a preservative. But look at it this way. Black soap will be used in the bedroom and there is very high probability that you are going to touch the soap with a wet hand and so water is going to get into the soap. So if water gets into the soap despite you not adding water into the main soap then it's going to also go bad and go, get smelly. So if you know you will not be careful enough to avoid water in the black soap, avoid touching the black soap with wet hands then you should add a preservative or if you don't want to add a preservative then make sure that you get a spoon or a spatula to take out the black soap that you need do not touch the black soap with a wet hand and if you know you will not be careful enough then add in a preservative 
I always suggest that if you're making your black soap for commercial purpose, that is if you are selling your black soap, then always, always add a preservative because you will not always be with your customer or your client to tell them what to do and what not to do. So you should put a preservative to be on a safe side so they don't complain that the soap gets bad and you have to tell them not to touch the soap with wet hands and all that. So add a preservative to be on a safe side. If you haven't seen the other episodes of this series, trust me, there's a lot to learn and I will drop the link to all the other episodes in the description box. So make sure you check it out. Alright, so those are a few out of the many reasons why your black soap stings after a while. Thank you for watching this video if you watched till this point. I hope you learned something new and I trust you learned something new. So if you did, please like this video, share this video, drop a beautiful comment. I am here to answer all your questions regarding tutorials, regarding black soaps, creams, lotions, body butters. Ask away and I will be sure to answer your questions. So bye and thank you for watching this video. See you in my next video.